Good morning. Today in five minutes I'm going to uh, try to teach you guys how to do a really quick uh, shop drawing. Again, I'm not trying to tell you guys how to do this. Uh, there's hundreds of ways to do shop drawing with PDF, uh, Blue Beam, uh, Double Reader, and so many other software that are out there. But this particular one, Paint, is on every Microsoft computer. So what you do is you uh, when you see an image on the TV, you go to your keyboard, you look for where it says print screen. You print what's on your screen, then you open paint. Once you open paint, what you have clicked as print screen will be on a clipboard. So I already went to the drawing, I hit print screen, and I have something on the, on the uh, clipboard. So here I am with a new open paint. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and, kick, uh, and click on paste uh, so you see how I create the uh, the drawing so uh, let me see let me just go through I hit paste here and uh, once it's paste I'm going to click the image I'm going to drag it to where I want to put it so I'm somewhat centering there uh, now I'm going to look through my files I'm going to dig up where I store the pictures in my computer so I still have paint open on the background. I'm just scrolling through my computer here, up and down. Here they go. So I have some pictures. I'm going to click on that one that says uh, PG1. And I'm going to open it with paint. You have to open it with paint in order to make everything compatible. So here it is. I open it with paint. Now I'm going to click that select button up on top. And I'm going to put a rectangle around the area that I want to bring over. Uh, you can see the rectangle there and, and dash line. You hit copy, then you close this particular drawing up. You go back to the drawing where you want to paste it. So here it is. So now you go and you hit paste. Now you could uh, increase the size of the paint by hitting uh, resize. As you see there on the third column up on top, uh, you cl click on resize. You put a percentage that you want to increase. So for instance, I want to make this a little bigger, so I make it to 125%. Or you could just put the picture wherever and you pull on one corner down until you reach the desired size that you want. And then uh, you follow up by putting a line, an arrow, or anything showing where the picture was taken. And you could change the thickness of the arrow and so forth. So that's for that picture. Now I'm going to get another picture. So I go back to my, right, the file I have the picture. I select this, so I'm going to click on 2, again you have to open it with paint, and then you hit the select button, and you, you know, cut out the, the sections that you want, here we go, I stretch it out, I got, I want that piece, I hit copy, I close this particular window, I go back to the window that I uh, have to sketch, I hit paste, you click it, you move it wherever you want, and you grab that little one corner and you stretch it out to the size that you want and you reposition the image wherever you want and then you put an arrow or wherever showing where the picture was taken so the picture looks like it's showing it, uh, the conduit from the end so I'm going to put a big arrow here uh, you see there in blue uh, well you can't see I'm going to fill that up with uh, with a little button up on top that has a can like point paint I'm going to make it blue so there you go now you can see the arrow and then you point to it uh, so paint has a lot of different bells it's not a full-blown PDF editor but you could do a lot of little gadgets with it so uh, you know I'm going to see if I make a few squares uh, or type on the bottom here I'm going to put uh, elevation view on the bottom screen uh, but it's too small so I'm going to cut it from where it is then I'm going to repaste it again if you see, I'll put it there and then I'm going to go to resize and I'm going to make that 300% the size that it is so people could really see it and I'm going to center it right there so it's, everybody could see it and I'm going to do the same for the upper drawing uh, this one I'm going to call uh, I guess plan view or something like that so people will know that they're looking at a plan view uh, again for whatever reason these letters are real small so I'm going to put it there then I'm going to take that uh, and hit the select I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to hit paste again I'm going to repaste it and I'm going to make it 300 percent 
the size there it goes 300 percent now i click on i put it where it is where i want it to go and bango there it is that's the floor plan elevation view now i want to make maybe a little square to separate one from the other one so i grab the square up on top i scroll over to where i want to put a square it's blue i don't think i like it in blue so i'm going to change the color of the line uh the thickness first and now i'm going to change the color to black there we go so now there's a black rectangle over the floor plan with two drawings showing different views and i'm going to put another square on the bottom on the elevation view just to make it look like you know halfway professional uh now i want to type on the bottom here today's date in my initial showing that i did this stuff so I mean you guys could put the name of the company whatever uh, I don't like where it is so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna cut it from where it is and I'm gonna drag I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right in the little corner then I'm gonna make another little square right over so there uh, that's it I have a floor plan elevation view different elevation with a kind of turns where it goes up where it goes down so that's pretty much it guys it's under you know, six minutes to make this drawing